Okay. So start na, start na. <laughs> so we're going to have your practical exam that will involve the motor system, okay? And that includes the cerebral cortex or the brain, which is made up of your hemisphere, cerebral hemisphere. You have your another motor system, which is the cerebellum and your basal ganglia. So don't I concentrate on my structures na yan, no? Okay, so this will be the specimen that we are going to show you during this examination. And what we are going to do is we we'll just ask you to identify the structure and maybe give you what is the broadband's area, what is the main function, etc. Okay? Now, so you have the surface of your brain or your cerebral cortex. These are made up of convolutions. Okay? You see these convolutions and these convolutions are known as your gyri. Okay? And in between your convolutions, you have shallow indentations, which are this one, and these are known as your sulci. Deeper or bigger <coughs> indentations are known as your fissures. An example of a fissure is your sylvian fissure, which is the biggest uh, fissure. And you also have this one, which is known as your uh, superior sagittal fissure. Okay, sagittal, separating the two cerebral hemisphere. You observe the right and the left. And we know for the fact that the left side of your brain, cerebral cortex, is the dominant hemisphere in the sense that it is in this part of your brain about 90 to 90, 96% or 100%, mostly the dominant contains your language area. Nandun yung language area mo. Wherein you're able to understand and able to talk. Okay? We're in one language area known as your Broca's area, which is Broadman's area number 44 and 45. And that is that area where you're able to express what you want to say. Okay? The other one is in the parietal area, which is known as your Wernicke's area, which is located in the superior parietal, at the superior border of your parietal, where you have there your Wernicke's area, again, an area for comprehension. Okay? So if it is the Broca's area that is defective, the patient will not be able to express. Hindi siya makakapagsalita. So ang tawag dyan, motor aphasia, or sometimes we call it Broca's aphasia. Another term for it is, is what we call non-fluent aphasia. Ibig sabihin, hindi siya makapagsalita. Okay? While if you involve your Wernicke's area, wherein the, the, it's responsible for comprehension. If you have a lesion involving the vernix, you develop what we call a sensory aphasia. It's a motor, no? Sensory aphasia, or we call it a vernix aphasia, or sometimes we call it non, we call it a fluent aphasia. Ibig sabihin, salita lang siya ng salita, pero hindi naman walang sense yung kanyang sinasabi. Okay? Sensory, vernix, or fluent aphasia, pare-pareho yan. Okay. Now, Sabi ko nga, this is your sylvian fissure. So you have to know these important fissures to be able to delineate which are the different lobes of your brain. Okay? So if this is your sylvian fissure, below the sylvian fissure is your, we call this your temporal lobe. Okay? Above, you have the frontal and parietal. And posteriorly, here, you have your occipital lobe which is well appreciated if you look at it on the medial side. Mas ma-appreciate mo siya. Okay? But anyway, so you have here your frontal, temporal, parietal, and your occipital. So there must be a landmark here that separates the frontal from your parietal lobe. And that is your central sulcus na tinatawag natin. Now, how will you be able to identify the central sulcus? Okay. Now, first thing you have to do is look at the this is your frontal lobe, right? Okay, this is parietal lobe. So, ang central sulcus will be, you have to identify una muna yung pre-central gyrus. Usually, the frontal, the pre-central gyrus, hanapin mo yung U-shape. There is a U-shape here, this, this one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because when you say, this is actually the paracentral lobule na tinatawag natin. Now, the paracentral lobule is made up anteriorly by your precentral gyrus and posteriorly your postcentral gyrus. So, yan ang Rolandic fissure mo. 
Okay? So in front of that is your pre-central gyrus and posterior to that is your post-central gyrus. This is your motor strip and this is your parietal strip which is your somatosensory area which is Broadman's area 1, 3, 2 and this one is Broadman's area number 4. Okay, so pag sinabing Broadman's area it, is, it refers to the pre-central gyrus and the somesthetic area is Broadman's area 3, 1, 2. Okay, so central sulcus pre-central sulcus okay, this is your pre-central gyrus and here is your premotor area, tinatawag natin. Okay?